Hi, I'm Ryan Beierbach. I ran to Southeastern, Saskatchewan, Canada with my wife and three kids. We focus on improving the environment on our operation. This part of Saskatchewan is referred to as the pothole region because we have lots of small wetlands. As you can see, we also have some big wetlands like the one behind me. This is a family operation and we work hard to improve our land and water for future generations. Kids and I are going to move the cows. We've done extensive fencing to protect riparian areas and to allow us to graze our pastures at the desired intensity, leaving lots of litter to protect the soil. This improves water infiltration, which prevents erosion, decreases flooding, and keeps the surface water clean. This is a pasture that we just moved the cows out of. You can see that there's lots of trampled forage left to protect the soil. We'll go across the fence here and I'll show you what it looked like before. This is, uh, this is what it looked like before they moved in. There's some uh, sand point here. It's already headed out. Um, some alfalfa. And we got some meadow grown at the bottom here. And a little bit of corny tall fescue. And we got a, a little bit of tight milk patch here. We got a good mix. Uh, lots of legumes. Puts nitrogen in the soil and helps with the productivity. And the biodiversity is also good for uh, wildlife and, and it produces, produces good. And the more stuff growing on top, the more root you get underneath. So it helps with putting more carbon into the soil and building the topsoil up. We got the cows moved and rolled through them and checked for any health problems. We're on our way home now and we're going to stop in this field that the cows came out of six days ago. There's lots of uh, litter, trampled forage on top. It's turning brown, and the plants are regrowing well already. I'm just going to dig up a clump of soil here, uh, be able to see what's underneath, and uh, have a look at the root. Here, we're pulling the dirt out. See, uh, we've got a good layer of thatch on the top, probably half an inch of uh, plant material and litter there. Helps hold the moisture in. A um, little bit kind of worked into the topsoil as well. Uh, soil's still moist. We've had about three weeks of hot, dry weather. Had an inch of rain before that, and then three weeks before without any rain. Um, you can see there's pretty good litter on top. No bare ground and uh, keeping it covered like that helps hold the moisture in. Lots of roots in the dirt below. Got an earthworm there and uh, some good black dirt. So we're building the topsoil and the organic matter and carbon. That's uh, what you see that's black. It makes the dirt black like it is. Still good moisture there. It'll help the uh, grass regrow now that the cattle are off it. Uh, looking around here on on the outside, we've got uh, pretty good regrowth too. We've probably got, I'd uh, say, a good five inches of alfalfa and meadow brome growing back here. Uh, it's looking really good. Give it another week, and there'll be be a lot of regrowth there. For just one example of the many ranches in Western Canada that are focused on improving the environment on our ranch. And improving the environment benefits us and society as a whole. Strong core values and environmental sustainability has been a focus of ranchers for generations and will become increasingly important to cattle ranches in the future. We have a lot of fun doing what we do. One final thought, it's a lot less costly to keep water in the wetlands and in the soil than to clean up the mess caused by poor environmental practices like draining wetlands.